Earth's twin planet behind the sun that the ancient Greeks searched for, they named it Andichthon. Andichthon, a body of the solar system with a mass equal to that of our Earth, the existence of which was assumed by the Greek philosopher Philolaus in his non-geocentric cosmological model, in which all bodies in the universe revolve around a central fire, that's the sun, according to Philolaus and the Pythagoreans, since the planets were composed of ethereal matter with little or no density, Antichthon, this anti-Earth, which was composed of the same materials as our planet Earth, balanced the center of equilibrium of the universe. Philolaus, the Crotonian, 470 BC to 385 BC, originally from Croton or Taranto in Lower Italy, was a contemporary of Socrates and is considered the founder of the theory about numbers of the Pythagorean philosophers. The Pythagorean Philolaus was later a teacher and successor of the Pythagorean Brotherhood, and according to Aetius, Philolaus argued that the Earth is not at the center of the spherical cosmos, where he placed, like all Pythagoreans, the central fire, that is the Sun. Round it revolved in order Antichthon, the Earth and the Moon, the Moon, the Sun, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, and the sphere of the plain stars, or according to Philolaus, Olympus. Olympus bordered the external or supreme fire, that is our Sun, which reached to the limits of our solar system. Philolaus's view were challenged by his opponents because of the impossibility of observing the central fire the sun, that is, from his system, we see the elimination of those elements, central fire and antichthon, whose existence is attributed to general metaphysical beliefs, while the idea of a moving or rotating earth is not completely rejected. Some members of the Pythagorean school still supported cosmic systems based on the idea of the moving and rotating earth, considering that a certain kind of earth motion was sufficient to explain at least qualitatively, the basic celestial phenomena. Gradually, the need arises to search for new geometric models, which will be generated by mathematical calculations and not by simply simple observations, which will not only be able to reproduce the qualitative characteristics of the apparent orbits of the planets, but will also be able to be used to calculate the position of a planet at a given time. In Greek antiquity, the Pythagorean philosophers, and especially Philolaus, as Aristotle mentions in his book about the sky, we know Aristotle was as Alexander the Great's teacher, so as Aristotle mentions in his book about the sky, believed that the sun, the moon, and the planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn, within the sphere of, plainly, they moved around a central point of fire, which they called the central fire or hearth of the universe, but which was not visible. So in a total, nine movements of heavenly bodies were seen. But because numbers were simultaneous and the only true realities for the Pythagoreans, they used formulas for everything, images of numbers constituted various bodies, but also because the number 10 was a sacred number for them as the sum of the first four numbers 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. From this, they believed that those moving about uh, should be about uh, also be 10. And that is that there is another planet, similar to our Earth, which deletes the 10th orbit. They named this planet Antichthon. And the Pythagorean philosophers believed that it is in a position opposite to the Earth in terms of the center of the universe as a result of which it is not visible to us. But the students of Philolaus, Ictias, and Ekphantos rejected these ideas about Antichthon, but the ancients also called the southern hemisphere of our planet Antichthon, roughly in the current sense of opposite, the ends of the Earth's diameter, that is. We today know of nine planets in our solar system, of which three, Uranus, Poseidon, and Pluto, are invisible, to the naked eye, but the Pythagoreans spoke of them. Zeus, Mercury, 
Mars, Earth, Venus, Saturn, Pluto, Uranus, Poseidon, and Antichthon. Antichthon is described as a planet that moves in the same orbit as the Earth at the same speed, but at the other end of the Earth's sun diameter, and therefore it is never seen, it's always behind the sun. Antichthon, anti-Earth that is, because Thon means Earth, uh, on July 7, 2013, NASA issued an emergency announcement. They said, two days ago we pictured from the RTS 445-8 spacecraft that show an exoplanet, an undiscovered planet that could host life behind the sun's corona. Okay, this is July 7, 2013, as NASA's issue of their announcement. They had discovered an exoplanet that could host life behind the sun's corona. After an anal analysis of the spectra, emitted by this planet, it was called Planet X. We found that it is made up of exactly the same elements that the Earth is made up of. Its distance from the Sun was measured at 150 million kilometers. That's 193 million miles. It's exactly the distance between the Earth and the Sun. So it has exactly the same orbit as the Earth. This is also the reason why we have not been able to see this planet until today. This is the, plant, the twin planet of our Earth. So um, the construction of the southern planetary pole, which connects planet X with the sun via laser beams, our guess is that it is how it feeds the energy. And this, if proven, is irrefutable evidence that we are not alone in the universe. There is extraterrestrial life much closer to us than we thought. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. I've translated this for you from a Greek article. Thank you. Please support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.